To force enable DLSS4 with the transformer model, there are two methods. The first one is to use the NVIDIA app. If you don't have it downloaded, you can go ahead and download it now. The only problem with this app is it supports games that are only under the supported list from NVIDIA. For all of the other unsupported games, we will use the second method, which is DLSS Swapper and NVIDIA Profile Inspector. All links are in the description below. These methods will only work with games that already have DLSS enabled, so you can't force a game that doesn't have DLSS natively to have DLSS 4, unfortunately. These methods are compatible with all RTX graphics cards. You must also fully exit the game that you would like to enable DLSS 4, and then relaunch it with the settings turned on for it to work. You can't change the settings mid-game. Please keep in mind that this can cause problems in multiplayer games such as getting banned because of antique sheet and can cause problems in terms of stability in games. If this happens to you, disable DLSS 4. The first step is to download DLSS Swapper. Now we will be using this software later, but I just wanted to you guys to head into the application, open it up. Once it's open, in the bottom left hand corner, click the settings icon, scroll down, and then it should say DLSS developer options halfway through, show on screen indicator, and click enabled for all DLSS DLLs. This is what we're going to be using to determine if the correct profile is set for our DLSS. Let's start with our first method through the NVIDIA app. Once you're in the NVIDIA app, go ahead and head over to the graphics setting. Once you're here, find the game that you would like to enable DLSS 4 for. If you are not finding the game here, go ahead and click the three dots and click refresh. Or click the three dots and press add a program. For this example, I will be using Cyberpunk 2077. If I scroll down to Cyberpunk 2077 and click it, then scroll down right to the bottom, I'll see Driver Settings. The option that we're looking for here is DLSS Override Model Presets. You want to go ahead and click the option here. Once you're here, you can see it says it use same settings for all DLSS technologies. You can click the drop down menu and click latest and then click apply. DLSS 4 will now be enabled for Cyberpunk 2077. The other way you can do this is if you go ahead and click on DLSS override model presets once again, and then click use different settings for each DLSS technology, then go down to super resolution click it, and then scroll down to where it says Preset J or Preset K. Preset J should be the one that came out with DLSS 4, and Preset K is the one that came out shortly after. For this example, and from what I can say, I'd recommend to use Preset K as that's the latest one. Press Apply, and now DLSS 4 is enabled for the game you selected. If you have a game that has DLSS natively in the game and you scroll down and it says DLSS is unsupported or it gives an error message here, this is when you need to use the second method with DLSS Swapper and NVIDIA Profile Inspector. There is a problem with the NVIDIA app that I know of which grays out the option for DLSS override for model presets. It looks like something like this that says use the 3D application settings, but you can't click on it. The way that I solved this is to go to my drivers, install the latest NVIDIA drivers, and from what I've seen online, the other way to fix this is to reinstall your graphics card drivers. If that seems a bit of a hassle, you can try the second method instead of using the NVIDIA app. To check that DLSS 4 it has been enabled in-game, as long as you've enabled the in-game overlay on the DLSS swapper step, which was step 1, you should be able to hop into the game, and in the bottom left hand corner, it should say render preset K, and the DLSS version should be increased. 
In this example, we go from render preset C to render preset K in a Plague Tale Requiem. In this example of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, you can also see that the DLSS version has increased from the previous one to the later one. If the NVIDIA app doesn't support the game, then you can head over to DLSS Swapper that we used at the start of the video and click on the game that you'd like to change. Or if it's not here, click refresh or press add game and go ahead and add it to the list. For this example, I'll be using a Plague Tour Requiem, so I'll click on it. Then as you can see here, it says DLSS. So I click on the latest one that I want and it should download. So for example, I'll use version 3.8 and then click swap and it will start to download. And once it's download, the download icon will be gone and then I'll click swap. So the latest one is 310.2.1 and I can do the same thing for DLSS frame generation. And I'll just go to the top one here, click swap, starting download. Now it's done, and click swap. So once we've done that, we have the latest version of DLSS for A Plague Tale Requiem here. Now the next part that you're gonna have to do is in NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Next, you wanna download and open up NVIDIA Profile Inspector. The link is in the description. The .exe file is under NV Profile Inspector revamped and it will be just be called NVIDIA Profile Inspector.exe. Once opened up, you have two options. The first one is to apply these settings to the global driver profile. This can be seen in the top left hand corner. You can use this if you'd like the DLSS 4 to be applied to all of your games. If you'd like it to be applied to an individual game, click the drop down menu and find the game that you would like it to be applied to. Please keep in mind that if you're using the global settings, you can run into issues where games won't launch or there may be problems such as games anti-cheats detecting the DLSS 4 enabled. To enable DLSS 4 in NVIDIA Profile Inspector, head over to the submenu of 02 DLSS overrides. The first one is FG Latest DLL, which means frame generation, you want to turn this to on. Next, you can click RR Latest DLL, which is Ray Reconstruction, and turn it on. The next one you want to turn on is SR Latest DLL, which is Super Resolution. You can click on. The next option is SR Preset. Make sure you change this to the J or K model. Now, this is the Transformer model that we're after. So the J one came out pretty much very close to when DLSS 4 released. I'm pretty sure it's the one that released with it. And then a day or so after, I believe, the K model came out. So just keep that in mind here. But we're going to be using the preset K. And then all you want to do is click Apply Changes. You have now successfully enabled DLSS 4. To check that it's been enabled, head back to step 3, which is earlier in the video, to see if DLSS 4 has successfully been turned on. Just remember if you do close out DLSS Swapper, the information will still show up on the bottom left hand corner. So if you guys just want to get rid of it, go to the settings icon on the bottom left of it again, and then find DLSS developer options and click none for the on-screen indicator and then it will be turned off again. That about sums up how to force enable DLSS 4 transformer model on pretty much any game that has DLSS. Make sure you guys go and check out wisetech.org for some more awesome content and I guess I might put in the rest of the video some little benchmarks comparing DLSS 3 to 4 but we'll see and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!